use the right tools. They say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, TubeBuddy is a YouTuber's best friend. You can use TubeBuddy for numerous things like researching your tags and keywords, knowing when's the best time to upload, to even knowing where your competitors are posting on Reddit. The point is, you're at a big disadvantage if you're not using TubeBuddy. Choose the right niche for you. Because you can follow all the great tips in the world, but if you don't get this right, then your foundation will be no good. So I suggest that you follow these three guidelines. Number one, you gotta make videos that you actually love and are actually passionate about. Next, you gotta make videos that you're an expert in. Otherwise, you won't have credibility. I'm not gonna make a video on how to gain 100,000 subscribers because I've never done it. And lastly, you gotta make videos that are in demand or not saturated, because real talk, otherwise you're not gonna find an audience to watch them. Become more efficient with your time. For example, when you first get started, experiment with a lot of different ways on how to promote. But as soon as you start seeing results, then start to focus and double down on what works and then reduce or even completely cut out what isn't helping you much. This is basically applying Pareto's 80-20 rule. Like for me, it was Twitter at first giving me the most traffic, so I spent most of my time there. But then I came across Brandon's post in the YT Talk forum, and there he shared some great tips on Reddit. Now at that time, Reddit was a strange and scary place for me, so I only spent a little bit of my time there. But as soon as I started seeing results on Reddit much greater than Twitter, I quickly started to shift more and more of my time there. you have to understand what's relative audience retention and overall watch time session. You have to understand that YouTube is a business. Their goal is to keep viewers like you engaged and ready to watch the next video. So you have to try to find a way to make your viewers watch the entire video. Network with other YouTubers. There's lots of ups and downs being a YouTuber and you don't need to do it alone. So get to know others, especially those in your niche, like comment on other videos, or join forums like the YT Talk. So follow people like Roberto Blake, Tim Schmoyer, or Daryl Eves. These people know what they're talking about. So join their Facebook groups, retweet them, and hop on any opportunity you can to get to know them. Persistence. Now I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but there really is no magic formula for success. Once you start seeing results, you just gotta keep going and going. In fact, my entire channel is based on my 7-step system to have endless motivation. I wanted to design a system that would eliminate my procrastination and maximize my productivity. I wanted to originally write a book, but then I realized that I could impact more people if I created a YouTube channel. Practice good YouTube SEO. Now I can be a nerd on this and talk about it for hours, but this includes optimizing your title, writing long detailed descriptions, researching your tags, and all that good stuff. There's still way too many YouTubers who neglect this. This isn't 2006 where you can just upload yourself eating a banana in a bridge position, going down the stairs, and then expecting to get 86,000 views, and then going to work the next day and your boss telling you he watched your video. 